Hey guys, it's Arbstone. Today, welcome to episode 2 on my Trading to 250k series. And once this video gets to 50 thumbs up, I'll upload another video for you guys straight away. And also, if this video gets 100 thumbs up by this time tomorrow, I'll upload another episode of this series tomorrow for you guys. So make sure to go and smash that thumbs up button. So it's been quite a while since I've uploaded this series, and it's been quite a while since I've actually traded with informs and stuff in general. And I know the prices have, for some reason, rocked it up. I'm not sure why. Um, I have no idea why, but yeah, they've gone up. So let me show you what happened last episode. Everyone sold it on. So the Kim Ying Qs probably weren't the best idea by me because they were in the current team of the week, which meant that they kind of weren't the best to trade with because people were constantly packing them and listing them up for like 10k. So I only really broke even on this one. I broke even on this one. I might, I might have made a profit on this one actually. I might, I might have made like a little tiny profit. But mostly just broken even on them. But there was one over if I could find him. Well, I did make 15k on this one. And that was when items were stuck in the watch list. So it went okay, but most of them were just broke even. The best of the bitches went really well. This one sold on for 23k and the other one for 27,750 coins, which is really good. And the Brennans did fantastically well. Because basically what happened is I actually sold most of the on during when items were stuck in the watch list a few days ago I believe. And there was an auto buy set up for like 17k to buy them. So I just listed all of them up for you can see 15, 16, all those kind of ranges. And they all sold on relatively quickly because of the auto buyer which helped me out I guess. So I've got to kind of get to grips now with informs and stuff. We're going to try and see if we can find a few deals. I need to obviously realise what the market prices are now. But so yeah, I'll be back with you guys when we have final deal. I'm just going to go through all of the golds, all of the silvers. And we'll be back with you guys when I do have a deal. Alright guys, welcome back. And do we have final potential deal? We've got a miscellany here with listed up for 20k. And you can see that there's a card here for 13k. So that's the lowest final price by about 7k or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm thinking maybe I can pick this up and hopefully get a quick sale of 18k. That's what I'm hoping for. So I will go pick this up for 13,500 coins. And so we're sent into our trade pile and uh, that was a really quick deal. I believe I just found that really instantly. I'm just checking through all the Brennans and the miscellany, see if I can actually price fix them again. But unfortunately, the prices are too high on Brennan and there's just not too many miscellanies on the market. So I'll place on my chance list and let's continue. Okay, so I found someone here called, what, what's the name? Let me go his first time, right? Simon Lindeville, that's it. Right, so there's a few for 13k, like 30k, you can see that here. And I believe this guy is trying to price fix him. And then people have listed some up for 11k, stuff like that. 11k, 12k. So I'm going to pick up the ones for like 12k, 11k. Because I can easily sell these on for like 18, 19k. Because someone is obviously trying to price fix him. I believe it's this uh, Flens FC guy. So it could be an easy opportunity for me to take advantage of the guy price fixing all the players. And just list all of them up for like... 15k or something like that and maybe the guy who is price fixing the player may end up actually buying all my Lundervals so that's a good deal I think I think I'm very fortunate that someone is actually already price fixing price fixing him for a very high amount but uh, I'll send them all to my trade pal and I'll be back with you guys with a few more deals in a bit alright guys welcome back so we have found another player Ario Barana I believe that's his name Mikhail let's just go with Mikhail so someone is price fixing Macau, you can see here, this uh, Lewis M City over here. So there's a few for like 14,250 coins listed up by random people for those amounts. And there are no more on the market. So one basically thinking is I can pick them up for 14k. I once again sell each one on for like 18k because this was listed up, listed up for 27k. So once again, people price fixing just help me out. So I'm going to buy all of these now. So I think this could be pretty good. So I'll pick them all up for 14k. And finally, the last one for 14,250 coins. And so what I'll do is I'll send to my trade pal. How much coins have we got left up? Actually, let me just go and check if this loads up quickly. I can go check how many coins we got, see if we can find any more deals. We have, oh, we have a decent amount of coins, about 81k, I believe. So I am going to go and pick up probably a few more, one more deal, one more batch of deals. I don't want to completely blow all my coins this episode, just in case it all really goes wrong. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably find one more batch of players and I'll be back, back with you guys in a bit. Alright guys, welcome back and we got ourselves three players which I think will be a fantastic price fix in my opinion. They've got some great stats to them, 74 pace, 76 dribbling, 4 star skill moves. All you go to like 11k, 10k, 
So I'm going to pick all these up because I think this is a really good deal. He's a really good player. Some are in different positions because I think he's normally a right midfielder. So the, this one's a good one because he's in the right forward. This one's decent as well. But overall, you know, they're really good deals. You know, you've got some good stats, four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, high-low work rates, good pace, good dribbling, good heading, you know, good all-round player. So that's the end of the trading for this episode. I don't want to go overboard and spend all of my coins just in case it all flops up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send these guys to my trade pile and I'll be back with you guys, back in the trade pile where I'm going to go and list the players. Alright guys, welcome to our trade pile and we're going to start with Miscellany right here. As far as I can remember, his next cheapest bin was about 20, 21k, somewhere around there, 22. So I can't completely remember but what we'll do is we'll list them for 18 and for this sell on, I just put his price down, it's all good. So I list them for 18k for one hour. Now next got our price fixing guys. So we got this guy right here called Lundeval. Lows for 11.5k. The next cheapest is 30k because obviously someone was price fixing him. So what I'll do is I'll do my market manipulation plan. We'll list this one up for 17k first of all. And then what we'll do with the rest is we'll just list the rest up for like 25, 26, 27k. Somewhere around that mark just so you know people kind of think oh wait that could be a good deal oh that one's the cheapest on the market so we've got a few players here uh we'll start with aria Bar aria barana his next cheapest was about 27k so again we'll list this one up hopefully for about 20k i think that's a pretty good deal because over the past few weeks i've checked his price in footbin and his price has been about 20 21k 24k somewhere around that mark so this could be an actual decent deal i list the rest up for about 20 uh, 29,250 coins somewhere around that so once again people think it is a good deal and finally the last player which we have got is a silver player and it's Carl Mona which I obviously was the last deal I picked up so we'll go over to him quickly oops right so okay I don't know what I'm doing right there we go so 11,500 coins they were the only ones on the market so what I'm thinking is list them up for about 16k might work out if not just put the price down and what we'll do, we'll just list the other ones for about 25k. So once again, people think this is a good deal. Because I don't think there'll be too many of him on the market, hopefully. So we'll go with 26, 25k. At least this one for 25k as well. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode of trading to 250k. Remember, once you smash 50 thumbs up, I'll upload another video for you guys straight away. And let's get 100 thumbs up for another episode of this series tomorrow. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Drop a like, subscribe to our Harp Star. And I will see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.